one of the best ways to stay organized is to plan ahead on which type of content you're going to post. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a content calendar using Trello. Hey guys, Adam here from Hustle Savvy, helping you grow your audience online and build a business around your skills and passion. So we're going to get set up on Trello. I'm going to switch to my screen right here and we can get started. Okay, to get started, head to Trello.com. You'll need to register for a free account. And once you get that all sorted, you'll see this screen right here. So this is basically a collection of all the different projects that I have. And one of the things you want to get started with is to create a new board. So click this button right here and the screen will come up and you just need to give this board a name. I'll call my content calendar and you can set whether it's for a team or for your own personal use. Right now, I'm just going to say no team and I'm going to choose a generic blue background. Once it's done, click create board. And this is what you're going to see for the first time. Now, before we start doing anything, it's important for us to have a proper system in place so that we can have a proper process and not get overwhelmed. So we're going to start with um, adding lists. So lists are like columns and the board that we've just set up is like an actual board, a notice board that you put on a wall. So columns or lists represent statuses of a particular task that you're doing. So in this state, in this example, I'm going to create one column or one list and it's a place for us to have an idea or brain dump. So I'm going to call it idea. And then another one where it's called to do. And then the last one is done. You can easily move this different list around if you want to change your process or your um, workflow. So now that we have our board set up and we have lists uh, being populated, we can now create cards. You can think of cards as sticky notes just like the one that you have in the physical environment. So to start creating cards, just head over to Trello and click on add a card. Let's say I have an idea for a question that I want to post to my audience. Let's say, I'll ask, what's your number one question with video content? So you click add card and you can keep adding more cards here. Maybe you can have a announcement and maybe you want to add other types of posts like a quote and maybe you want to have a tutorial. And whenever you have new ideas, this is your brain dump. Keep listing them down here in this column. Now within the card itself, you can specify quite a few things. If you click into a card, there's a whole bunch of options to edit right here. The first one is you can add members. So if you have team members, you can click here and search for them and assign them this particular card. You can also input the description of the card. So this could be Question of the day for new YouTube video. You can also add checklists. You can give the checklist a name, and then this could be uh, an easy way for you to keep track of what you're supposed to do when you are creating this piece of content. Maybe you're supposed to create graphics and then So these are just examples. You can use checklists to make sure that you're on track with particular tasks within this card itself. Next, you can also attach files. 
and that will be similar to an email attachment and appear somewhere at the bottom here. Another thing you can do with cards is to add something very important, which is due date. Let's say this one is assigned Friday. This way, later on, I'll show you how this can be integrated to a calendar feature. And then lastly, something more visual is to add a cover. So I'm just going to add a cover, this one right here. You can upload your own cover or you can sign a color. But this will attach this image and it will appear right here in your board. So this gives you a nice visual cue of what the card represents or what that task represents. So this could be an image for your Instagram. It could be a thumbnail for your YouTube channel so that when you look at your board at a glance, you can quickly get to understand which task or which card represents which content. Eventually you have a lot of cards stacked up and it can get pretty overwhelming. So one of the best ways to stay organized is to add labels to our cards. So one way to think of labels is that they're similar to sticky note colors. You know, the physical sticky notes, you have different colors and you can use them to categorize different things. But in the beginning, you'll need to set up a few labels first. So to do that, head over to the menu section. If you can't find it, it's probably hidden like this. Click on show menu and then click on more and then click on labels. There's a few colored labels already right here, but they're empty. So we can give it a name for this one. Let's say it's a question. And the next one could be quote. And you can keep on adding based on how many types of content that you want to have within your process. This is up to you. You can customize this however you want. How this works is that you can go to one of your cards, add a label. Let's say this one is a question. And whenever I'm going to look for any type of content that is question related, I can go back to the main menu, click search for cards, and then click the label question and only list down cards that have relation or labeled as a question. If I search for quote, nothing else will appear because I have both question and quote selected. I can just select quote itself and nothing appears because I have not assigned any cards to the quote label. So to do that, let's say we have a quote down here. Let's say we add this label and might as well just add the rest. And start to see that if I click on quote, the quote cards will appear and I can combine if I want to select multiple labels at once. Okay, so to show you an example of a workflow that you can use, we've already had a preview of that earlier where we started dumping ideas here Let's say we keep on dumping new ideas. And we go on and on. From there, decide what is your focus. Let's say this week you want to focus on this particular content. So we drag it to to do and then maybe you want to make an announcement and then maybe you want to have one tutorial here. Next, you actually create the content and then whenever it's done, you move it over to done. As simple as that. Now, maybe you got a bit too ambitious or maybe something happened in your schedule and you couldn't finish this other task or this other piece of content. No worries. You can either put it back into the idea section so that when you plan for next week, you can rethink about, hmm, do you want to do that again? Or you leave it there so that next week you just carry forward the task. And if something doesn't work out and maybe it was a bad idea or maybe you have a much better idea, you can always archive the card and it will be removed from your board. 
this is just one workflow, we can now add another feature that can help boost your organization skills when it comes to content. And that's by adding the calendar power up. Right now, I have this calendar power up already, but if you don't, head over to the menu, click on power ups, and you'll see like a pop up here where it shows all these different types of power ups. You can search for calendar, and once you find it, you can just click add right here. I already have it selected, so it's just saying settings, but if not, just click on add. Now that you have the calendar power up, you can click on it and you'll see your board will transform to showcase a calendar type view. And all the tasks that have been assigned time will appear here. So previously I assigned this card with a time slot on Friday the 14th and it appears on the calendar. The other cards that was not assigned well, you have to make sure that they have a time slot. If not, you can't see it on a calendar. I like to toggle between week, month, and then the actual board status itself so that I have a better idea of what's going on and what's coming up ahead. Okay, so that was one workflow. Now I'm gonna show you a second workflow that you can potentially try out and see whether it is something that is more suitable for you. We're going to go back to the calendar Click here and then from this view you can actually create cards right from the calendar itself so maybe I'm gonna click here and add another card and I can even customize the time I can add it to to do and click add to add it to the card now you can't immediately assign a label so you can just click on the card to edit it further and assign a label right there and you can also add members and any other things that you want to do just like in the normal board view you can keep on adding more cards let's say we add another tutorial here And whenever you're not happy with the arrangement or maybe something changes in your schedule, you want to change things around, you can move the cards and rearrange accordingly. You can also stack them on top of each other within the same day. And then when you go back to your board, those cards were already added accordingly. So this way you can look at your calendar and plan ahead instead of just using the first workflow. Personally, I would combine both workflows and use them depending on my situation. And you can test these two workflows and see which one fits best for you. All right, you can check out this other videos right here. And if you wanna learn more about how to create videos using your mobile phone, you can check out this one right here. Thank you for watching till the end. Do hit like if this was useful to you and subscribe with the bell notification on so that you will get notified whenever I post new videos. Thank you and take care. Bye-bye.